Welcome back to our maths lesson year two. Today we're going to carry on looking at position and direction. I hope you remembered what we did in last lesson. So last lesson we looked at our left and right. Remember, if we put our hands in front of us, our left hand makes the letter L for left. Our vocabulary was left, right, around, and straight. Now I left you with a tricky map to follow and we're going to use the directions go straight, turn right and turn left. Are you ready? So first of all we're going to go straight into the maze and then we're going to take a right. Now we're going to take a left and go straight. Then we're going to take another right and go straight. We're going to take a right and carry on straight. Take a left and go straight. And take another right and go straight. We're going to take a right and go straight. And then take a short left. And then take another left and go straight. Now we're going to take a left and go straight. And take another left and go straight. Then we're going to take a right and go straight to the end. Now a left, straight, and then another left, straight. Now a right and another right. Now we're going to take a left and walk straight to the first right and take the first right and walk straight and then take another right. We're now going to take our first left and walk straight. Then we're going to take a right and our first left again. Okay, we're nearly out. So now where you're here, we're going to take another left and go straight. And then take a right and go straight. Now another right and then our left and go straight. We are then going to take another right and then turn left and go straight on out and get out of our maze. It's a tricky one, but I'm sure that you all managed to do it with a bit of practice. How did you get on? Great work, year two. Now in this lesson, we're going to look at the compass directions. We have north, east, south and west. People have been using a compass for hundreds of years to find their way around. It was always one of the most helpful tools for sailors. Now let's look at a map of the United Kingdom and we're going to cut it into north, east, south and west. So we have the north that had been circled so we even have Northern Ireland and the North Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea using the direction's name above the line, it's the north of England. Then we have the east, where London is. The south, that's where I'm from. The country next to us, Ireland, only cuts its country into a north and south. So we have Southern Ireland. Then we have the West. This is where Rodora is from, if you remember our topics lesson. Here, let's take a look at something a little easier for us. We have a worksheet and we have North, East, South and West. We need to know where each animal is. So let's start. There's a compass at the side to help you. So let's start with the dog. Where is the dog? That's correct, he's on the west. Where is the snake? Take a look. That's right. 
He is on the north. Our next one, the cat. Where's the cat? So he must be on the east. Excellent work, year two. Now our last one, the tortoise. Where must he be then? He's at the bottom of the compass, so he must be south. Great work. So let's take a look at another worksheet. This one's a little easy. We have the north, east, south and west marked on the map. Now we're going to read the questions and fill in the answers. Let's go. So question one, this is a map of a person, place or thing. A place, that's right, year two. Next question. The pond is north, south or west of the oak tree. Can we see the pond? And across from the pond is the oak tree. That's right, the pond is west of the oak tree. Okay, the pot of gold is north, west or east of the leprechaun. We can see him at the bottom there. It's north, it's at the top of the map and he is at the bottom. Now we're left with an easy one. There are four, three or two pine trees. I'll give you a clue. They're in the left corner. That's right, there are three pine trees. Excellent work here too, as always. Hope you're getting to understand directions a little bit easier now. Now I'm going to leave you with another tricky activity. Take a look at this map and fill in the answers. And next lesson we're going to look at it again. We're going to use north, south, east and west. To make it a little easier, draw yourself a compass. Pause your video and write the answers and we'll check them out in the next lesson. Good luck with the map and I'll see you next lesson with all the answers. Excellent work, year two. Now take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.